So I got some feedback from different people that, uh, which I sensed it is absolutely true. There are a lot of people that are jumping into the helium mining and uh, they have no crypto background. They don't know what wallets are. They don't know how to deal with this whole thing and it could be overwhelming. So this video is for you because I'm going to guide you step by step. Um, there's no cursive knowledge that I've seen in other videos where people just skip some important steps assuming that you have some background or they assume that you know about it. So this is very simple, straightforward uh, video that can help you just set up your um, hotspot all the way to earning uh, your HNTs. Now that being said, um, there, are, there are some precautions that uh, I need you to you know, watch out for, especially when it comes to seed phrases for the wallet. We'll be tackling that, so but I just want you to be uh, know what we're gonna go through. So we're gonna do unboxing. We're gonna set up the Helium hotspot, which is in this case the Bobcat Miner. Then we're gonna download the Helium app. Then from the Helium app, we're gonna connect the Bobcat Miner to our wireless internet. After that, we're gonna set up the Helium or the Bobcat Miner. And from there, we're gonna show you how you can transfer your HNTs from the Helium app to a different um, exchange. And from there, you can transfer it to your bank account. So we'll go through the, all of the steps. And uh, I hope that I'll be covering everything you need to start and finish this project in less than 30 minutes or so. Uh, other than that, uh, I invite you to subscribe to the channel if you are looking for some uh, solid, simple news that can help you understand the crypto world. Uh, other than that, let's jump onto this video. So we're going to start with unboxing the Bobcat Miner. You need to read the do's and don'ts. Uh, basically, we're going to use just two inputs, the AC adapter and the antenna, and they're just saying that this is uh, not for external use. So this is the AC adapter, uh, this is the antenna base, and this is the Bobcat Miner. This is the certificate, the warranty card. Please do not lose this. You need this in case your Bobcat Miners um, for some reason it stops working whatever uh, it happens by the way so this is the antenna that you're gonna install on top of the antenna base so here the antenna base we need to unscrew the cap same thing <coughs> here we're gonna just screw in the antenna we're gonna move these two black caps they are just for protection use that's all you're gonna twist it to the right it's a little bit it's not easy to, it's easy, it's just the corner is a bit uh, in the way. One thing that I guys, uh, guys, you need to pay attention, never plug or unplug your antenna while your Bobcat Miner is plugged into the electricity. Never. Never. It will, uh, it will break your Bobcat Miner or any other hotspot. If you want to replace the antenna, you need to disconnect it from the electricity. So that's a big, big warning. So now we're getting our antenna set. You're going to see that there's COM and TF card. These will never be touched. So we're going to install the DC adapter. And what you have here is you can connect through Ethernet. So there are two options, Bluetooth and Ethernet. Ethernet is preferable if your internet router is close by. If not, you can use the Bluetooth. Uh, so uh, if it depends on your status and situation. I prefer Ethernet, but in this case, the eth my case was too far. Therefore, I'm going to do the Bluetooth and I'm going to use this needle just to set things up. And it's fairly easy and simple. Now we plug in the DC to the socket and you can see that everything is going to be running fine. It's a yellow indicator. However, I'm putting this example so I can tell you about Windows because Helium hotspots are used radio frequency and it can be affected if you place the hotspot inside or behind the walls. You need to place it in 
or right next to a window, the higher the better. Now, the bottom windows, you can see it has a bug screen, right, right here. And the other window on the left has a double, uh, double windows, which will affect uh, my earnings. Therefore, I need to place it where there's no bug screen and there's no double windows. And ultimately, the higher the better. So I'm going to get a sticker and I place it on the upper window. For now, I'm going to just move one window out and I'll place it right here till I find a way to uh, put this uh, antenna right on the top. So this is something you need to address. There are two other videos that I'm going to place right at the end where it shows you tips and tricks of how to optimize your antenna. Now for this, we have everything set and now we need to connect the Bobcat Miner to our wireless internet and we're going to have uh, we're going to use the needle that comes in in the box and we're going to press on this BT button with the needle for five seconds or six or seven seconds till it blinks blue where the yellow indicator uh, was yellow now it has to turn to blue so uh, we'll check this out now it's ready to connect One big warning here, once you download the Helium wallet, you need to save the 12 seed words that they give you. You need to save them somewhere safe because if you lose your phone, if you want to access your wallet from anywhere else, you will need these 12 seed words. They are the most important thing. So please do not write them somewhere or take pictures of them and lose them. You will lose all your money. So pay attention to these details because it's going to help you. Uh, to manage this uh, wallet uh, in a proper way. So let's go back to the video. So now you go to Google Store or Apple Store and download the Helium Hotspot. Once you download it, you can see here, just add a Bobcat Miner, just like it showed. Uh, if you're choosing something else, if you have a different hotspot, then you choose the hotspot uh, miner that you bought, SenseCap, Nebra, whatever it is. And we go through these steps. I prefer that you guys read them all. Uh, there, there are some uh, useful information. Now we're gonna scan for my hotspot via Bluetooth. So you have to have your Bluetooth turned on. Now, if you're gonna see this message, that means your your Bluetooth inside your Bobcat Mario just got turned off. So you need to turn it back on. Now we have found the Bobcat Miner. We start connecting. It takes a few seconds. Then we're going to start scanning the network, which is your wireless internet. We search for it and then we just click on it and you enter your password and now we're connecting to the network. Now we need to register and follow the instructions. So we have the location, we're going to set location. You can enter these info later or you can do it right now. For me, I this hotspot is on the 14th floor, so it's about uh, 40 to 45 uh, meters height. And the 4 dpi for the Bobcat Miner. If you have a different miner, you put whatever uh, your hotspot. So SenseCap comes, I think, with 2.4 dpi. So in this case, Bobcat Miner is 4 dpi. We just register and this might take a lot of minutes it says few minutes it took me around I think 15 minutes so you have to take your time you can click on the go to wallet till things uh, get uh, registered and you can do that so when we click on to the wallet uh, we can uh, figure out some uh, stuff the notifications my hotspot you can search the tips here there are some useful uh, things in here you can also um, check your notifications just in case this is brand new so there's nothing to be uh, looked at but i highly recommend that you guys join the helium discord it's really important if you have any specific questions any troubleshooting that you need help with very very resourceful i highly recommend that you guys uh, join it 
other than that uh, we'll just wait for another uh, 10 minutes I'm gonna skip so I don't waste your time so now we have it paired with the hotspot you can see the details here connected via that's my network uh, you're gonna open that diagnostic report and take a screenshot of that because you're gonna need the Mac address and the IP address for your uh, to fix the relayed you can see here now it's syncing by the way you have to take in mind that it takes up to 48 hours for the syncing to happen okay so do not worry about all what's wrong with what's going on there's nothing to be worried about so now after 24 hours we can see that uh, everything looks fine we still have the relayed not resolved I have a video on how to resolve the whole thing it's gonna be right at the end of this video uh, you need to solve the relayed for sure and it will reoccur every now and then for many reasons I mentioned in that specific video now what you can see that the progress is not bad it's still syncing it's not fully synced so uh, there are things that are just uh, getting better uh, hasn't uh, issued a challenge yet hotspots create challenges automatically every 300 blocks or approximately every five hours so everything looks perfect there's nothing else you need to do from your site now uh, what you need to do is let's say you have earned 100 HNTs and you want to transfer them you don't know what it is so part of this app you have uh, you kind of have a wallet right so uh, this is your wallet you can see it here this is how much HNT you should be earning now if you're gonna make or mine HNTs using your hotspot that means you will have money inside this app this wallet right so you need to transfer this HNT this amount of HNT that you have to let's say in this example I'm gonna use Binance right so I'm not gonna copy this address when you send money you need the address of the recipient so in this case I'll go to Binance I'll go to my wallet and I want to deposit so I click on deposit I look for HNT and I click on it and this is the address in my Binance so if you're using um, crypto.com you're using whatever exchange you're using you need to look for deposit and the HNT has its own address so what you're gonna do is you're gonna click on this which is copy address then I go to helium and I'm gonna click on the blue button which is send so send HNT I'm gonna paste my address here and I'm gonna choose the amount of HNT now some tokens require memo to double check on this you can read the important send only HNT to this deposit address sending coins or tokens other than HNT to this address may result in the loss of your deposit coins will be deposited after one network confirmation so there's no memo here whatsoever so you're good to go uh, these are just things that you need to pay attention to in case you're using other tokens so once sorry for this so I'm gonna say let's say 10 HNT and there's no memo and you don't have enough HNTs you do not have and once you have you can send them uh, right away so I think I've covered everything that you can do now in Binance obviously you need to do uh, some extra work uh, you need to you need to convert uh, the your HNT now that you have it on your exchange uh, I usually convert it or transfer it to uh, Newton and from there I can deposit to my bank uh, I use XLM but for you whatever exchange you do you can transfer your bitcoins to USDT or to US dollar whatever you prefer and then just send it to your bank account 
Now that's the main thing is sending it from HNT. Again, HNT is where you're gonna send your HNT tokens that you mined to your exchange. And from the exchange, you can convert it to USDT or whatever you want, then to your bank. So it's fairly simple. I have a link to Binance. If you don't have a Binance, even if you're Canadian, I think it's still working fine and it's super. Uh, we have till the end of the year till uh, they figure things out, but I find it very, very useful. I'm gonna have the link uh, where we both get, I think 10% discount or 20% or something. There's an offer that well, we both benefit if you guys sign up through my uh, account. Anyways, guys, if you still have any doubts or you, if you run into problems, you can always go to the Discord. Uh, if you have any technical issues, you can also reach out to me in the comment section. You can ask me anything you want if you get confused. Again, don't forget, there's at the end of this video tips and tricks of how to optimize your hotspot and also... Um, how to fix the relay, which you should uh, fix it as soon as possible. Again, again guys, if you guys enjoy this, uh, please subscribe and uh, turn the bell notifications on. I will have some new cool videos of how you can make 20x and 50x with new coins that are coming into the market very soon. I'm very delighted to uh, come up with this video and sharing it with you guys. Anyways, wish you all the best and uh, happy mining, everybody. Take care.